Hello guys, and welcome to another Napoleon Total Multiplayer Battle, and I'm here with one of the last replays that will be played in very crappy frame rate on my current computer, is I am going to be building a new PC, running a lovely 980Ti, i7-4790K, 16 gigs of rip jaws, 1866 MHz RAM, Two one terabyte hard drives, a 500 gig SSD. Let's just say I got a lot of crap going on. So let's go ahead and get started with this 2v2 on Galaxy and Rhea. As I am playing against Jeremy Palmer and MGL Rick. Sorry guys, I haven't been really got it a couple days ago so I've just been playing World Warships and haven't really gotten anything so I'm playing my usual Prussian army with four Hussars, four Prussian Fusiliers, nothing but Musketeers and a Foot Guard and Eighth Life with General Staff and Tip is playing along with me as Prussia also as let's see his army setup, he's not really doesn't really have a setup yet but I see um pretty much he has Hussar, two Lancers, and Lutzow's Freikor. He's got, obviously, I'm assuming he's running the four Prussian Fusiliers. Yeah, he's got two of them in the forest, and pretty much a bunch of Musketeers, General Staff, and Eighth Life, and a Foot Guard. Pretty much kind of the same thing I'm running, except he has different Cav. It's going fast through the rest of the, the rest of the deployment phase. Hello, boys. How was your day? Oh, I can't wait for steady frames. Uh. Hello, boys. Ready to fight? Hope you are. Most of you are going to die today. But it's for a good cause. Whoa. Oh, boy. Let's see here. Hello, General Sir. You have no actual name, but you are a general. I'm going through your... I'm phasing through you. I don't know. This is a long deployment phase, I'll tell you that right now. As you can see, I am uh, deployed to basically go with Tip up the hill and support him. Elites are in the backfield, as always. Officer Sword. Here we are here. So, both of them are playing as the British. This British opponent has mostly elites, it looks. Uh, man, I'm probably wrong about that. He's got a foot guard, cold stream. He's got two foot guards and a cold stream. Probably running mostly foot. He's got regular light foot. He's got a couple fence bulls and bunch of foot so pretty much sums up that army right there he's also got the Duke of Wellington which is probably why he has a little bit less units this guy here is running two foot guards uh, King's German Legion Light Dragoon and then another Light Dragoon and Horse Guards and for the main base of his army mostly foot actually you know, he's got a couple King's German Legion foot and you can see Tip just does an all out charge and he's right into his light foot so it was a well-planned attack Sir, for some reason. Attack. Apparently my general's almost under attack. I don't understand that. But, uh, must have been straight bullets. As you can see, Tip does get the charges in. Does some decent damage, and he pretty much gets to the hill. It's also, my cav is arriving to support the hill. And the rest of my army is following suit. But at this point, we do have the hill. His tips men are running up behind me. And I'm charging in one unit against these light dragoons. Pretty sure they should win that. I 
get a nice downhill charge. Did a lot of damage in that initial charge. So should very easily win that. Ooh. Gotta love those light foot volleys. But the rest of the line isn't killing much. I charged in another unit. Got another nice charge in on the light foot. I kill I still kinda rammed over his unit there, unfortunately. This light dragoon's still alive. Wow, and Tip just ran over some unit right there. We're just kind of trying to quickly take out this opponent on the hill. And so far, we're succeeding in that. As you can see, I'm preparing my army to face this British player. I think one reason why that, uh, that I brought all my cav up to the hill is one, my guy doesn't have any, and two, it was well needed. But at this point, this guy has, if he does have any lights, they're pretty much gone, numbers-wise. And I'm pretty sure this is actually the last one over here, 42 men. And now I'm charging in, once again, another unit. These light dragoons are going to be getting hit again. I think I just launched another set of tips men, yeah. And unfortunately, there's a lot of friendly, pretty much friendly charging here. And unfortunately, did a lot of damage. I think that's his unit. Yeah, that's his unit. But at this point, this British player has pretty much got pretty much slaughtered. His cab is pretty much gone. Just an overall massacre of the British up on this hill. He still got his elites though on the bottom of the hill. Start working our way down here shortly. You can see he's falling back. He's pretty much just like, oh screw this. But I'm in position. You ready for the attack. Just me and Tips came at this point. And I do get a charge in against these elites. Continue the charge. Gonna do some decent damage to this foot guard. At this point, we've won the hill. As you can see, it was a massacre. There's no way he was gonna win that with our strategy that we had. But I do have one cav unit left at my disposal. See, I still have my men in pretty much line formation for my lights. Just not yet is it needed to be in loose formation. And this cab unit just got killed apparently by something. Ah, it's that light dragoon unit. Drop that foot guard quite a bit down. Our men are running, sir. But yeah, we've ran them off the hill, and now I'm pretty much prepared and ready for my British player's advance if he tries anything. see all my reserve line back here. Five units. Ooh, that sounded like a stiff volley from those Prussian Fusiliers. Ooh. Don't hear that one from across the map. He's using his fencibles as meat shields. That poor man just got shot right in the stomach. He's unfortunately dead. And that unit of foot just got absolutely shot up. Ugh. Looks like he's falling all the way back to the tree line. That light trick was pressed in a route earlier. And as you can see, I'm starting to uh, form up my line to start trying uh, to slip around my guy. I just love Prussian Fools leaders with their accuracy. Open fire! Oh God! Where's his head? Apparently, some man just got shot in the face. My God! Where's his head? 
That invincible unit just walking around weak. <clears throat> no reason why at all. But uh, at this point, Tip's pushing up his line to start putting down some more hurt. His depleted line, honestly, because you can see, I think these were the original units that fought for the hill. They're all down to 44 and 50 men. He's got a pretty decently fresh brush boost there over here. Well, it is tired, but uh, it's a lot more men than these other two over here combined. Might be an incorrect statement, but oh well. Poor fence bulls getting killed fairly quickly. And I don't really know what my guy's doing at this point. He's just kind of going over the place. And at this point, I decide to attack. Plus, I have a one unit light advantage. You see, he got the first shot, but he only took out four of my guys. And I only took out two. Well, no, I took out four. And there's a couple more from my other unit. These guys aren't in range yet. You can see I'm pushing over my cav unit that I have left from earlier. But at this point, it's pretty much uh, my guy against me and Tip. But I think uh, the other British player is pushing back up to attack. This poor folk guard just got shredded. And you see now pushing around a flanking force even further to start actually firing at their flank or my guy's flank. And I'm just taking out this light foot fairly quickly. And very quickly winning the light fight if I didn't have an advantage already. And now Tips is charging his d dwindled down units. Meat shield tactics at its best. Let's see if this unit makes it. Nope, just barely didn't make it. See, now I've entered my other two fresh fusiliers into this lovely spray of fire. Now, oof, that unit's still gonna have two shots from two units. Oh, but it's the foot two at the same time. But uh, that unit of 90 is about to light them up. Let's watch this volley. Oh, oh, look at them just drop. <laughs> Another stiff volley. By this point, Tip's uh, doing pretty good. Though he is kind of going to have to deal with his actual enemies. Viable army of what he has left. Just leads. But now I'm pushing up my main line over here to start doing more damage and they're just going to start shredding everyone in sight. For some reason he decides to form square here. For reasons unknown. Oh, because I have a cab unit charging and that's why. <coughs> but with that square makes the ability to shoot a lot of men at once. Treating his light All foots. Lost one. Me. I've actually lost the pressure boost of the air. One down, one down. Three more to go. Look at the massive bodies that are starting to pile up here. Cold stream guard fight for their lives. About to go down pretty soon. Put a friendly fire probably going on right there. Tips last cab unit. Ooh, I just saw a couple of those guys go flying. Those foot guards. Uh, I don't know what my guy's doing here. Just getting killed. Oh, oh. <laughs> Every time. For some reason, I decided to charge in that unit. Oh, well. But <laughs> melee combat for me. And now I've encircled him in a way. These poor foot guards here don't really have much of a chance to fight. Yes, yes, sir. 
But at this point, I've turned the flank. And I'm doing another we super advance. Ooh, which general just break. died? Uh, I think it was. Uh, it was Tips Guy's general. As you can see, the final beaten up remnants of their armies are starting to uh, dwindle down. Oh, another close up volley for the pain. Oh, <laughs> Uh, gotta love that. For some reason, this pressure boost there is just like, uh, they're acting dumb. But at this point, you'd have to say the battle is pretty much done. Just purely already. It's really not much force that they have left, and most of it's very, very depleted and. Me and Tip both have a huge amount of force left to take them. Our men are running, sir. I still have my foot guards and my eighth life. See, the way, if they were to defend or defeat both of our front lines, we would still have some reinforcement left. But at this point, no, there's they're dropping like flies pretty quick. Fall back! They did their best, though. Oh, <laughs> he shot the back. Oh, I heard that volley. <laughs> you can see, actually, my guy's actually kind of flanking me right now here. Not too bad. Kind of got cover from the house going on. You can see, I'm doing kind of a weird shifty thing going on right now. This tip's fine, like, finishing up. <coughs> Sometimes I swear when I speak, I can't speak. Just finishing up the final remnants of his opponent, slash some of my guys' units. And now he's starting to flank my guy here. And those folk are just going to charge in. And I just charge back. But uh, pretty much at this point, it's it's a good game, good game. Me and Tips will have a pretty good majority of our armies. These foot guards are still kind of running through. I kind of put that unit that already took a few losses kind of up on the front line to take the final brunt of the charge. Now, before the battle's over, we'll go ahead and look at the carnage that was caused into the giant pile of red British there. Just, ugh, look at this hill. It's just covered. Just covered. Enemy general has died, and the mass route has begun. So, I hope you guys liked this battle. There was one more, obviously, left, and then pretty much done for this computer for Napoleon Total War. So, as you can see, me and Tip did very, very well. Very, very well. So, let's look at the US statistics. Let's see here. 118 on that Musketeer. I think that's the best out of them all. So once again, yes, thank you guys for watching. One more to come from this PC and new PC and good frames soon to come. Peace.